Okay, so Mount Gung is a, a, a big volcano on, on the island of, of Bali and uh, what has been noticed uh, in, in the past couple of weeks that the seismic activity within the volcano has increased significantly. So this is a sign that actually the volcano shows sign of volcanic unrest, um, that molten rock or, or magma is moving inside the volcano, probably making its way up towards the, the surface and that's a sign that there might be a probability that the volcano is actually erupting. No volcanologist would sit here now uh, and, and would, would say, yes, the volcano will uh, erupt definitely. There's a high probability that the volcano uh, will erupt, but we cannot say exactly at what point the volcano will erupt. And we also cannot say exactly what type of eruption the volcano uh, will produce. The record at Agung, the past eruption record, is, is not very detailed. So we know, for example, what the volcano did in 1963. There are three more um, historic eruptions uh, recorded, but with not very much detail. The most likely scenario, if um, Agung erupted, is pro probably a moderately sized uh, explosive eruption. Uh, what does that mean? Um, again, if we look at 1963, there we had lava pouring out of the volcano and down the flanks of the volcano. We had um, ash fall, so magma blown apart in, a, in an explosive eruption, which then um, sort of falls away from the volcano onto the ground. Um, and most significantly, in 1963, um, we had so-called pyroclastic flows. So pyroclastic flows are volcanic flows made up of uh, rock fragments and superheated gases that travel down the flanks of the volcano at high speeds, more than 100 kilometers per hour. And these flows are hot, they can have temperatures up to 500 degrees and they destroy everything in their, in their path. So in 1963, more than 1,000 people were killed directly by those pyroclastic flows.